Here's an interesting 2 minute 15 second news clip. I'm still trying to figure out which part of it is actually newsworthy. The newspaper's chairman says the company skipped a $9 million quarterly debt repayment to creditors. They're trying to save cash during a restructuring. The chairman claiming the Star Tribune still makes money, but is struggling to pay off $432 million in debt. The paper also defaulted on loan agreements earlier this year. A local band that's participated in countless numbers of benefits takes the stage to help one of its own. Brian Layton, who is the lead singer of GB Layton, was recently diagnosed with cancer. A doctor successfully removed the tumor, but Layton still faces recovery. Tonight, the band played a benefit for him at Bunker's Music Bar and Grill in Minneapolis on Washington Avenue to help cover his medical costs. And other local musicians took part in the event. We wish him well. Searchers returned to the rugged terrain of Eastern California looking for signs of Steve Fawcett. Today, a hiker found a thousand bucks and an ID that might have belonged to the millionaire adventurer. He vanished more than a year ago after a solo flight that took off from Nevada. So far, there's no sign of any plane wreckage. Federal investigators are trying to determine if the ID is authentic. Southwest Airlines prepares to touch down at Twin Cities International. A discount carrier will begin service at the airport in March of next year. To start, there will only be flights available to Chicago Midway Airport. Currently, Southwest serves more than 60 cities in the U.S. They're adding on the Twin Cities. Delta and Northwest teaming up outside the boardroom to help battle a deadly disease. A pink and white Delta plane flew into the airport this morning to kick off Breast Cancer Awareness Month. 80 Northwest and Delta flight attendants diagnosed with the disease were on board. They talked about their struggle and gave words of wisdom for other patients. Never give up. Don't quit. Get an attitude. Do your research. Visit with your friends. Do not let this get you. Both airlines are raising money for breast cancer research this month. Good cause and a and lot fantastic. of smiles. It might have been newsworthy if they bothered to ask the Star Tribune why they're still cutting down trees when they could just give their news out over the internet.